National Nutrition Natural Health Reviews. Three minutes of the latest naturopathic info with Canada's leading nutrition experts. Watch, learn, and get healthy naturally. Hey there, naturopathic Dr. Jonathan Beatty here, health expert at nationalnutrition.ca. Today we're going to talk about the importance of digestive health. The digestive system is essentially the system by which you break down and extract nutrients from your food. And nutrients are the basic molecules required to support and sustain life in the absence of disease. So we're going to draw the very first conclusion here. If your digestive health is not on point, you're pretty much automatically setting yourself up for the development of chronic diseases by nutrient deficiency. This is why, you know, most naturopaths, when you go in to see us, it's very cliche, but we often like to focus on proper digestive health because if your system is not capable of absorbing nutrients, it's also probably going to be impaired in its ability to properly absorb other medications, supplements, herbs you might be taking, and you're not going to get the full benefit of treatment if you don't have proper digestive function. So the digestive system, let's quickly tackle it. It actually starts where? In the eyes of all places. When you first see food, your brain starts to process that you've seen food, you're about to eat, and it starts to turn on the whole digestive system. Smell is also very important here for triggering digestive, the digestive system to act. Basically, when you start to smell food as well, you're gonna to start to salivate. You know, your stomach's gonna to start to produce stomach acid, and you're gonna to start to create peristaltic waves, things that help move food through your system. So again, eyes, nose, and then of course we get to the mouth. Now this is the gateway to the digestive system. This is where you know, chewing takes place, the mechanical breakdown of food. What you're trying to do is break the food into as small pieces as possible so that the digestive juices and the digestive enzymes can further break down the food into usable parts. Once you swallow the food out of your mouth, down your esophagus and into your stomach, that's where this, it gets treated by stomach acid. The acids help to do what we call denaturing or unfolding proteins. This suddenly makes the proteins capable of being digested via enzymes. Once you know, the body's finished with this, it now excretes the food out of the stomach into the intestine, into the small intestine. This is where you, know, you get bile secreted to help with the digestion of fat. It does what's called emulsification. So what it does is it breaks down large chunks of fat into smaller and smaller and smaller pieces. You know, that's why the bile is very important. As well, you get a secretion of pancreatic and digestive enzymes. These are the enzymes that are going to, you know, uh, chemically break down larger food pieces into very small usable parts. For instance, they'll break proteins down into their individual amino acids so that your body can now absorb them and utilize them. And these enzymes are going to act on your food, they're going to break it down, you're going to extract the nutrients, and then the rest of the food is going to move through you into the large intestine. Now, the large intestine is where a couple of things happen. Uh, further fermentation happens. The bacteria in your gut helps to break down the food as well. So you get fermentation of some of the fibers. This can help to reduce inflammation in the system as well as you get the extraction of water out of the stool so that you can actually start to form you know, the bolus of food into a proper bowel movement for proper excretion. And then of course we terminate at the, the rectum and the anus uh, where you know, stool is passed out and you know, into the toilet. So that's the digestive system in a nutshell, right? Basically, uh, humans, we often don't think about this, but we're basically a big funny shaped donut. You know, we're a hollow tube from our mouth to the other end everything inside that tube is outside of our body. You know, proper digestion is important because what we need to do is we need to get the important aspects uh, from our food into our body while keeping all the harmful and other aspects out, keeping them down in the digestive system. Okay, so that we want to eliminate the bad, we want to absorb the good. Very important. So that's why digestive health is so important. A few of the things that can go wrong you can develop infections, you get a, can get impairments in stomach acid. Too much or too little can be problematic. Not having adequate enzyme production so that you can't properly break down the foods. And then of course, um, you know, not having the right bacteria in the gut can also lead to improper fermentation of the food, whereby your food can actually be transformed into toxic products, which can cause you harm. And of course, last but not least, if the barrier that keeps harmful ingredients out is disrupted, 
you end up with a condition we call leaky gut, whereby you know, toxins and improperly digested food products can now leak into your bloodstream and cause immune responses and cause inflammation and a whole host of other major uh, concerns. This is why, again, you know, it's so cliche, but why I love to focus on the digestive system because we want to make sure that that system is working properly to make sure that the good gets in and the bad stays out. So there's a couple of different things you, know, you can do to manage your digestive health. One of the biggest ones, avoid foods that cause you harm. You know, many people today suffer from food allergies or food sensitivities. More often than not, the proper terminology should be a food sensitivity, as allergy is actually only one type of hypersensitivity response. But if you have a food that you don't digest well, typically that's your body telling you to avoid eating it. You can't break it down, either you lack the enzymes or you might have an immune response to that food. So I typically recommend removing it from the diet because you don't want to consume anything that's going to create inflammation or, or disrupt your normal digestive function at all. Um, other things I typically look at, you know, reduce your intake of preservatives. Basically, preservatives are designed to help prevent the breakdown of food. You know, that's why it makes the food stable on the store shelf. The trouble with that is it also prevents that food from breaking down in your gut. So you're not able to liberate the nutrition from that food. And if you eat a food high in preservatives alongside another food that's high in that might be high in nutrients, the preser preservatives are still going to impair your digestion of that healthy food as well. So typically trying to reduce preservatives. You also want to maintain adequate stomach acid. So one of the things I often have people do, uh, you can Google it, try a burp test. See if your body produces adequate stomach acid for the digestion and breakdown of food. If not, you can supplement either with an acid form itself like lemon juice or apple cider vinegar or I often re recommend supplementing with betaine HCL or betaine hydrochloric acid. It's a low dose hydrochloric acid which is actually the same acid your stomach uses uh, as stomach acid to again help break down that food. Um, if you don't produce adequate enzymes, you can use a broad spectrum or what we call a full spectrum digestive enzyme, something to aid you in the breakdown of sugars, fats, and proteins and I often look for one that can also uh, help break down cellulose and hemicellulose and the reason for that is one of the biggest obstacles to proper digestion is just inadequate chewing and so when people don't chew adequately we can't break the food down very well and essentially an enzyme that can break down cellulose and hemicellulose acts as almost like a chemical chewing so it can help break down the food further so that we can liberate the nutrients. And then if you do suffer with leaky gut, two of the things you can use to help aid in normal digestion is uh, L-glutamine powder. Uh, this is an amino acid that's used both as fuel by the gut cells as well as a structural component. So it helps to rebuild the, the gut lining, but it also helps provide the fuel so that your body can rebuild the gut lining. And then N-acetylglucosamine is a specific type of glucosamine that's used to recreate the connective tissue in the gut because the, you know, that's what holds the cells together and prevents that leakiness from occurring. So those are some of the things you can look at. Lastly, probiotics. Probiotics are essentially the good bacteria in your gut. They help run your immune system and they help you to properly digest your uh, food as well as they help to prevent infection by pathogenic bacteria. So oftentimes supplementing with a probiotic can be very important for your digestive health. So these are a few tips you can use to maintain adequate digestion and optimal health. Check out more of our videos, subscribe, and if you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And always remember, knowledge is health.